In this video, I will demonstrate on how to insert uh, image, how to insert audio, and how to add text in PyLib. First thing, uh, I've created a folder where it contains all the images that I'm going to use in my project. And then the audio, I created a separate folder to store audio and to store images. I'll open ideally. So first thing is make sure that uh, your basic PyLib code structure runs without any error. I will save this file in my folder. I named this folder as button pylipper, so I'm going to save it here. Okay, it did not give an error, so it's working fine. First thing, I will set a window size. So window size takes two attribute, that is width of a window and height of a window. So I will keep it default. So the default width of a window is 640 pixel, and then height of a window is 480. And now I will insert one image, background image. So I will name this as a BG background image. So to insert an image, we have to use a sprite method. S P R I T E. Make sure that your S is a capital letter. So the first attribute is the location of your image. I have already kept uh, images. This is my program. And to access this image, I have created one image folder. And inside that image, there is a Kichul Hakang. So I'm going to copy this file name and then file type. So in my case, it is a .jpg. So I will paste the file name here. And then you should also mention a file type. So file type is, a, in my case, it is a .jpg. And then we will draw image, bg.image.draw. Okay, we'll take this once. Mm no such file or directory that means uh .jpg could not exist because uh, you see that this kichul hakang is inside a folder images so i have to mention a folder here so i have a folder named images inside that folder i have a file kichul hakang now it's working fine uh, i want to make this uh, image as a background image for my window so for that first thing is i have to set an anchor point the center of x axis and y axis for this image so the next attribute it will take is this x coordinates of the image so i will put it in the middle of the canvas so i will make sure that x coordinate is half of the 640 so it should be 320 and then y center of the y I will make it 240 half of the height and then we will check once it's perfectly aligned in the middle so I want to make sure that this image covers whole canvas size or the window size so the next width of an image is 640 and then height of an image is 480 I'll run this screen. yeah it's perfectly fitted inside the window so I'm going to make this as a the background image Somewhere at the end, I want to draw one rectangle and then I want to name this Hakang as Kichul Hakang. So for that, I will draw one rectangle and then for that, we have to use a rectangle class. And uh, I will initially start from 0, 0 and it should, the width of a rectangle should be covering all the width of a window and then height, I want to make it around 50 pixel and uh, color i will choose red so i'm going to draw a rectangle here okay we'll run yeah it's perfectly fitted and on top of this i want to write one text like uh, the name of this hakang to write a text to add a text uh, we have to use a text method so i will name this as a hakang name okay and then we have to use a text method so the first attribute is it should take the text that you want to add in your project. So I will name this as a Kichul Hakang. Next is the portion of your text that is X and Y coordinate. So I want to appear my text somewhere in the middle of this text box. So a portion of a text at uh, X axis at around 2, around 230. We'll try this. And then height should not be more than this because this is the size 
height of a rectangle we want to put it in the middle of this rectangle so i will make it somewhere at 20 and now the next is the font size font size i will make it around 16 pixel and then next is a font color i will make this as a black and then there is again another attribute optional attribute like a font style but i won't recommend you to use this because there is only a limited number of font style Yeah, it's perfectly aligned in the center. This is how we draw a text in uh, PyLib. Now next, I want to insert one audio via background music. So for that, we have to use the audio method. I will name this as a uh, background music. And then for that, we have to use audio method. And then the first thing is it will take the location of your audio. So in my case, the location of the audio is inside this audio folder and the audio name is Flute and the type of an audio is MP3. You have to check this type and accordingly you have to use it in your code. You can choose, you can use it according to your file type. And then we'll make this audio play. For that, uh, we have to use a play method. So bg dot music dot play. Okay, now we'll check once. Could not open file name. Okay, I forgot to mention audio. It is inside the audio. Play this. Yeah, uh, it's working. But then uh, the audio seems to play very weird. Uh, we have to make this loop to true that means to repeat the audio only when it is done so we'll check it once yeah now it's working fine so audio may not work in your system where it will ask you to install AV bin so for that you can watch my next video and then to in to make it my project little better i want to add again one image maybe a old man around the lakam so location of the image old man i have already image here so this one is png so i will copy this i will copy this paste here and i will mention this file type man draw draw i want to insert uh, this old man somewhere here so I will position it yeah it's perfect now it's, but then uh, I want to resize this image like old man image so for that we have a scaling method so I want to resize the old man dot you have to use dot scale and then maybe I will decrease the size maybe around 0.8 percent you will check this yeah now my it has become little bit small so i have to shift the coordinate Somewhere I need to, yeah it's fine so before i close this i want to set a window caption to um, window dot set caption i want to make this uh, slakang of Bhutan. you should see al hang of Bhutan here so that's all for this video uh, you may face a problem with uh, when you are working with audio file so I want you to watch my next video on how to install AVB and configure it so that you won't face any issue while working on with the audio